Tonight is a mini photo contest. We're trying to figure out tonight who can make the most delicious photo as judged by me and some other parts of the community. And uh, just have some fun tonight. Fun is really important this evening and a celebration of barbecue. So let's do it. This is myself. I am Quentin. I am going to be the host with the most. And I am going to introduce everyone here to uh, Black's Barbecue if they haven't had it. They're in for a time of their life. Have you ever had food so good it just makes you close your eyes? It's like, mm, mm. See, I had a moment there. I was thinking about the food. I was just like, mm. the, the sausage. The potato salad is my favorite, absolute favorite. So, being that I'll be hosting, I want everyone to feel welcome here. I want everyone to have a good time. I want this to be like that backyard barbecue, that backyard boogie with some good b -b -b barbecue. Here because Austin is such a foodie community. I don't think people realize how much of a networking community of people that are here that are dedicated to documenting the delicious food we have here. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see what everybody has tonight. Hey, I'm just here for the beer and the, and the barbecue. That's it. <laughs> We got, we got a little hat right over here. We got, we got two koozies. We got two koozies. Hold on, hold on. We got, we got, see this gold looking hook for a golf towel. But you know what? You could use it to like a little shoulder cover. Sure, sure, yeah. Or that's a nice shirt. Uh, that's a nice shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have never been to one where it's based off of photos. And I always find that very intriguing how to pair you know, food with beer and how to make it look very appetizing. But I, I'm interested to see how people choose to lay things out and display certain items and, and, and just have their own flair to it. Because everyone, I feel like everyone has their own type of but when you said event you know, characteristic uh, with you know, photography or music. Or they have their own signature. Um, I don't know what kind of I, I, it, it seemed like a very interesting uh, event to be a part of. And I want to sponsor it because I. Who loves, you know, who doesn't love barbecue yeah. beer and infections? But, you know, the creativity. And, and, and you get a drink right afterwards, too. So it's like a win, win, win. The contest was just exposure, you know. Um, it's, a, it's a good way to get your name out there and, uh, you know, um, Make, make, it, make your name for yourself in the photography world. So I've been uh, uh, taking, you know, photos for a couple, um, going on two years. I started at the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, Y'all can find me uh, on Instagram and Facebook at John Zapata Photography. Uh, you can check out my website uh, for my portfolio at www.johnzapataphotography.com. And uh, yeah, book me for your next session or, you know, let's link up, take some pictures around town. Art, you making art right now? You trying to scare the competition? So why is this competition? What's Number going one, on here, Art? Those Just beef ribs. You're getting things are bad. Things are bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, I like the challenge, man. This is something new. Photo competition. Yeah, I'm down. I'm ready. I'm ready to win. Though. Today we're looking up different kinds of food photography and still photos and all this. I'm like, all right, this this is something cool. This is something new. So definitely, man, ready for it. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry and I'm here to take a good photo. Ready for some beer? Ready I'm, for some good I'm food? To, I'm here to win the beef cracker ribs. Who is that guy? I'm on my Canon. I got a Canon 7.7D over here. Uh, this is my eight teen. It's a 30 or 55 lens. I have an external flash just in case and a little diffuser. So we're going to see what happens when the food comes out. And, and John, I'm guessing you have... You know I'm strapped with that iPhone 12. <laughs> Adrian, what do you got? I got I got a Samsung, very old school, going oh for the vintage God. look, you know, so we'll see how this turns out. Yeah. It seems like, where am I looking? In, uh, here? Yeah, you're looking here. My photography. I specialize in underwater portraits and also maternity and newborn. Yeah. Um, I do a little bit of food here and now and intimate weddings and um, I just enjoy it. It's fun, it's a passion. And I'm pretty good at it. Doing a shout out to my best friend, Rokeisha Bryant. <laughs> Woo -hoo! It seemed like you were thinking about which friend deserved a shout out for oh, a second. Oh, it's always Ro, Ro, and oh. 
<laughs> Who's just saying no to barbecue? I'm here along with my dog. Because you can have it all here. No matter. Um, from boutique, I sell jewelry. I'm here at Lux Barbecue for the photo contest for food. Uh, I'm happy to be here. Excited to be out in the contest. I'm just trying to really connect with people. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Kimberly Delgado, or Kimberly Cantu Delgado, or Instagram. Hi, I'm Brittany Mendoza. I'm here at the contest for Black's Barbecue and Ellis Brewery uh, to make the most delicious photo. And I decided to enter because I recently just started my own photography business, which you can find me at uh, b.originals at Facebook or Instagram if you need my services. Also, I've been doing the food photography for a long time. I am uh, published with Awesome Food Magazine. I used to be a professional chef as well. And I've decided to take this venture on a photographer. And my strategy is I'm gonna make the most delicious photo with having one of my close friends and her dog, one of my good friends and her pet, Etta, to you know just capture the deliciousness that it just tracks everybody. And my strategy is to do like a late night delicious like back frame with only capturing like the actual subject and then I'm gonna try to edit it really quickly on Lightroom and we'll see what happens. Got a side of mac and cheese, green beans, and then I got some of that pecan cobbler. Let's see how that goes. You got the cobbler. Yeah, pecan cobbler. That's the coleslaw. <laughs> that's, 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 great right that's all we got so far? Yeah, that's blunt up the coleslaw. It's all about the cellus, you know what I'm saying? It's all about the cellus. That's actually not bad right there. No. I gotta get it more like this stuff. What did the onion say to the pickles? I don't know either, but the barbecue was great. <laughs> I feel like we need more photos of food in the world because food makes everyone happy. And we're living in a very divisive time, and so I think events like this are amazing because I am smiling watching them try to get these angles of the food. Who doesn't love a good photo of barbecue? That's like my favorite thing to see on Instagram is photos of barbecue. Okay, so I have my iPad set up so I can you know, go from here, edit on my iPad, and then send them off in the email. This was awesome. Jacob did a great job putting this together. We're ready for another round. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Go away, no cameras. No Omar, cameras, please. so you being a photographer, can you tell me about what you're looking at? Oh, yeah, that's are, are you impressed? Can you tell me about that? Um, yeah, there's a couple of really good ones in here. Me personally, as an artist, and also uh, working working on the you know on behalf you know here's a representative on behalf of our studio. We just like to tell great stories. That's it. Just like Hensbury. Sure. Shout out Southtown Creative. Shout, Shout out to Hen Omar. Hashtag Hensbury. Yeah. Awesome. Hashtag Hensbury. Oh shit. <laughs> like, you know, just talking to you just now, it's like. I'm going to erase kind of some of the production side and what I just saw and I'm going to focus on what is the most mouth-watering image right in front of me. I'm just going to focus on it. I'm not going to think twice about what I just saw production-wise. But honestly, that was kind of cool. I felt like that was like a legit cooking show. Yeah, this is, dude, this is, this is in the, the intense, man. <laughs> I would say, I never knew how long it took for Images to go from your, you know, upload it to Lightroom and all that. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you're shooting raw. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like a bigger file and it's like, <laughs> I'm like, come on. <laughs> oh, yeah, man, that's awesome. Can you, Lisa, are you editing right now? You got a minute left. 
I started being like a travel writer because I was going to so many different, so many different places. Yeah. And so my friends were just like, you have a charmed life. And I'm like, hmm. When I started my business, it became charmed life. Charmed life. I came here to support my friend Brittany. I came here to eat amazing food and... Was it amazing? Everything was really good. I mean, the brisket, I just assume, is, am is amazing. I need you to know that we've been drooling over Black's Barbecue for days now, waiting for this exact night. So we may or may not have taken the photos in two minutes and oh. eaten the rest by now. Worried about the compression? I didn't know I was going to send through email, but I'll send it. Okay. I'll send it. I'll send it. All right. Did you turn in your photos? Okay. So we got a minute left. Oh, <laughs> That's what creates a Steve Harvey moment. Party foul. <laughs> That's art. Art, come on down. Uh oh. So, so Blax is being really generous, and there's going to do a runner-up, and that that winner would be a Zeus. <laughs> and you know how the NBA stars they go, I'm going to Disneyland? Where are you going? I'm going to Blacks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's the end. The end of the very first foodie photo contest hosted here at the original Blacks Barbecue here at 3110 Guadalupe Street. And uh, what a party. You know, that's what we were going for. That's what we wanted was a party. We want people to have fun. Uh, you know, Barbecue's always fun, but when you make it a little competition and photographers and those kind of creative folk and everything, are always a good time. So uh, we had a couple little hiccups here and there, but we had, you know, we overcame it overall. I don't think anybody really noticed, um, but we had the right people in the right spots to make it happen, to get this all done. So, um, you know, my crew was great, you know, helping get all the food out for everybody. The, the host, Quentin, was awesome. Hens Bread was here, documenting it all, keeping it all going. And uh, it just, it's always fun to um, make friendships in so many ways, especially with Celis. Beer makes friendships. Uh, they, they were a great partner to have this evening, you know, keeping everybody hydrated, you know, with their, with their beer and uh, helping the party move along uh, just with their presence as well. So, um, there might be another foodie photo contest in the works here at Black's Barbecue. I'm sure there'll be another one at some other restaurant somewhere too. But uh, uh, I can't wait for another one because what a party.